So we'll talk about the light emitting diode. Here is the electron from N side and holes from P side. So electrons from N side and holes from P side move to depletion region and recombination is happening. So it's happening in a LED that's light emitting diode. What is it? A light emitting diode is a forward biased a PN condition. So positive connected to positive that's forward biased which emits the visible light when energized. When a junction diode is forward biased, electrons from the N side and holes from P side move towards the depletion region and recombination is happening and you are able to see the light is emitting. When the electron in the conduction band recombines the hole in the balancing band, the energy is reduced and it's released. You are able to see the energy is released. In the case of semiconducting material like germanium arsenide and gallium arsenide or gallium phosphide and gallium arsenide phosphide, a greater percentage of energy is given out in the form of light. If the semiconducting material is translucent, the light is emitted and the connection becomes a light source turning on because it is powered biased. The LED is turned on when it is powered biased and it is turned off if it is reverse biased. The color of the emitted light will depend on the type of the material used. By using gallium arsenide phosphide and gallium phosphide, a manufacturer can produce a red, a green and also an yellow and an orange can be created. So LEDs are used for instrumental displays and it's used for calculators and also in digital watches. We are able to see LED manufacturer producing the colors red, green, yellow and green, orange.